Health Canada's chief medical advisor says the combination of RSV, COVID-19 and the flu has hit Canada hard. But Dr. Supriya Sharma says help is on the way for parents dealing with that current shortage of pediatric medication, a shortage that has seen some parents drive to the U.S. to get ordinary over-the-counter products. Manufacturers have ramped up production to record levels, but demand has continued to increase and significantly outpaced the supply. As a result, we've worked with manufacturers to allow access of foreign product to supplement Canada's supply. We've now received and approved three proposals to import foreign product and supply has started to enter the country. After next week, more than 1 million bottles of product will have entered Canada to supply hospitals, community pharmacies, and retailers, and medications will start appearing on store shelves starting early next week. These foreign products include liquid ibuprofen for children and liquid acetaminophen for children and babies. The CBC's Lauren Pelly has more on today's announcement aimed at bringing relief to parents right across the country. Well, as we heard, I mean, this has been months in the making. This shortage has been going on for quite some time, leaving parents scrambling at times having to rely on emergency rooms and other ways to help take their children's fevers down. Uh, as we heard, you know, feds are bringing in foreign shipments now, a million bottles of children's pain and fever medication. That's liquid acetaminophen, liquid ibuprofen, and those should be starting to arrive on store shelves early next week. So we'll see if parents go out and try and see what that situation is. And they also said that manufacturing has really ramped up production, but demand has still been outpacing supply for these types of products in Canada. Now, this medication shortage is just one piece of the unfolding crisis in pediatric hospitals. What are you hearing about that situation, Lauren? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's been this issue with finding these medications, but it's also the challenge of so many sick children in Canada all at once. We heard from the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario today. They're still over capacity, and they expect to be dealing with high levels of patients for four to six more weeks. Uh, teenagers 16 and up are now being sent to adult hospitals instead, as they're trying to just grapple with just the number of children who are all falling ill. Now, it's tied to high levels of virus circulation, everything from COVID to our RSV to the flu season recently beginning in earnest in Canada. Uh, in the first week of November, children and youth under the age of 19 years old accounted for more than 60% of reported influenza infections. Here's what federal officials said about that today. At the national level, lab test positivity is at near 8% for RSV and 16% for influenza. Both of these viruses are having a large impact on children. The Canadian Pediatric Society is really urging all Canadian families to get their flu shots right now. There is no vaccine yet for RSV, but we do have vaccines for influenza in our toolkit. The organization says children under the age of five and those with chronic health conditions are more likely to need hospitalization if they catch the flu. So pediatricians across the country have been recommending that all children six months and older receive an annual influenza vaccine. Now, it's also safe to get multiple shots in one appointment. So if you're thinking of getting a flu shot and a COVID booster, for instance, uh, pharmacies can't dole both of those out at the same time. CBC's Lauren Pelly in Toronto.